When the NJC AA Women's Basketball Tournament tips off next week, no one in the 24 team field will have less depth than the five seed Gulf Coast Commodores. Due to the injury bug, the state runners up are down to just seven active players on the roster. A few of the guards playing a full 40 minutes every game. It didn't seem to hold them back in the state tournament, winning their first two games by a combined 65 points. Guards Hayani Diaz Dos Santos and Aliyah Bartholomew are leading the way. And Gulf Coast head coach Rory Kuhn says his team is good enough to beat any of the other 23 teams in the field. They just have to play with close to perfection. We do have a chance, but it's just those little things we got to tighten up. And we have uh, less of a margin of error because we have so limited bodies. You know what I mean? So, like, those five, when they are going, like you said, they are special. But the less, like, silly mistakes you can make, less turnovers, those, and do the little things right. Since losing their star center in Maryland commit, Issy Minmay Adi Mamadou to a season-ending injury, the Commodores have gone from the clear-cut national favorites to now long shots to cut down the nets. Sophomore guard Aliyah Bartholomew says the team knows they're being doubted and they're okay with that. We know we're underdogs, so it's just more pressure on everybody else and less pressure on us, right? And it's not even really about pressure, it's just about are you going to come out there and, and get it. It doesn't matter who's the one or the five or the, the 11, anybody could take it. We're all in the tournament for a reason, right? So I just feel like just wanting it, that's the, that's the number one thing. The Commodores are set to fly out to Denver on Sunday morning. Well, they'll move to some vans and make the rest of their trip over the Casper, Wyoming. They're going to play their first tournament matchup on Thursday the 28th.